That voice calling you may not really be your son. AI voice phone scams are bringing in big bucks for criminals who easily clone the voices of children and trick family members into giving them money. NTD's Emma Shi tells us how to protect ourselves. AI phone scams are on the rise. Last year, criminals stole an estimated $10 billion from Americans through these scams. They're ruthless. They're heartless. Cybersecurity expert John Young specializes in fighting these AI phone scams. He says the scammers generally target grandparents, using the voices of their grandchildren to persuade them that they've been kidnapped, that their car has broken down somewhere, or that they're in jail. The scammers then ask for money. A lot of them are from um, countries where... If they make one score for, say, $1,000 or $2,000, they immediately go into entrepreneur mode and they start hiring other people. Suddenly they can hire 10 people to do it and then they, they have a few more of these successful scores. And before you know it, you have a data center somewhere, a call center with tons of people. Young says many kids have videos on Instagram or TikTok, so the scammers can easily find their voices and put them into AI software. In one scenario, the AI-generated voices frantically tell grandparents they've been kidnapped, and then the voice of the kidnapper will come on and order them to send money to a bank account. Ask a personal question. Is ask, hey, where did we go on vacation last time? Uh, what was your childhood nickname? Um, and and if that is not what you're expecting, that is then this is most likely fraud. AI expert Martin Rand says this is one way to confirm whether that voice is real, if you can get the question in before the supposed kidnapper butts in. Another way is to plan in advance. My favorite thing is to have a security word. So one of the security words we used a few years ago was carrot. So if any of my kids were calling, um, you know, and we felt like there was something off, we would just ask them what their security word. Tech entrepreneur Dan Martell says people should also trust their gut. If the person on the other end doesn't seem real, they probably aren't. Emma Shi, NTD News.